I'm sure very soon they will declare and we will talk about that. Let's, with a round of applause and a standing ovation, give him a round of applause. His Excellency President Jomani Mane, Mama, in the Flamela that we hope to work with the indications. I know this is premature, but but you permit me to do it. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. We are going to start with today's session. We will start today's session. We will invite Honorable Kofiato to give us a brief remarks uh, on the work that they have done uh, ahead of this process. Then when he is done, we will call it the EC to give us the official results. Pardon me for declaring the results ahead of time. Ayesu, Za, MFA. Okay. When I was told my comrade was a DC, I was uh, looking on the map to see which of the regions, which of the regions. But at long last, the struggle is over, and we have found a, a flag bearer. It, it has been very tedious. Um, took almost six months. People were asked to bring letters of intent around July, and today. We have gone through this process. It's been, it's, 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 the last three weeks was not easy for those of us in the committee. And I would like to, to crave your indulgence to just introduce to you the seven members of the electoral committee. And when I mention their names, they should just get up to be acknowledged. Number one, B. T. Zidin. Number two, Honorable Koku Anilo Hodebu. Number three, Honorable Abraham Amaliba Kansa. Number four, Honorable Katrin, sorry, Comrade Katrin Denu, Katrin Foreman. Number five, Alaji Rashid. Haruna. And then Honorable Muntaka is, 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 is part of it, but he's not here. Um, I'm sure he's in Asawasi by now. So we have um, gone through this um, process. I would just like to thank the first the, the National Executive Committee, the functional executives, the general secretary, the chairman, and all the other six um, aspirants. They took us through some <laughs> grilling for three weeks. Those of us who we have lost our height and even our weight. <laughs> but but it, it was all, all for good. It was all for good. We met here several times. We would like to thank you very much. The electoral committee is, is pleased to, to be finishing their work today. And then I hope that when the flag bearer is announced, we all, we all agree that we have gone to a very serious process. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Kofiato. So without wasting much time, we we'll call on the officials of the Electoral Commission to come and give us the certified official Electoral Commission results. Then we'll pick it from there. If the team is ready, kindly approach us and do that for us. Thank you. Thank you. We bring you greetings from the chairperson of the Electoral Commission. For the past two weeks or so, he's been shuttling between your office and our office. He's been worrying almost every moment we were calling him. And the chairman of the party too, as at yesterday evening, 10 p.m., we were talking on the phone. 
We thank God that at the end of it all, we've had a very peaceful and successful election. We want to go into the details now, the results. We had a total of 262,142 as the registered voters as given by us. Total votes cast, we had 225,521. We had 1,337 rejected votes. And total valid votes amounted to 224,184. Now the results garnered by each candidate. We start from the bottom. Alhaji Nurudin Idrisu pulled 520. <laughs> Representing 23% of the votes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 0.23. Representing 0.23%. Number two, I mean, from the sixth position. Sylvester Edinam Mesa also pulled 934, representing 0.42%. Echoes, Echoes, Pugabra. Also pulled 1,447 votes, representing 0.65%. Guzi Tano also pulled 2,091, representing Two representing zero point nine three per cent. Alban is for Bagbin also pulled two thousand three hundred and one, representing one point zero three per cent. Joshua Alabi also pulled 3,404, representing 1.52%. Then John Dramani Representing ninety five point two Thank 
to chair that committee. Since my relationship to, with Kofiato, which has lasted for <laughs> more than 30 years, I've seen him being angry only two times. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I realized that he's the type of person with a big heart to be able to undertake that job. And I'm most grateful that he has delivered. Honorable uh, Pizzi then has been congratulated already, so I don't need to add anything. But uh, we've just nominated, uh, we've just appointed him as a minister, a uh, director at large. So it will be very difficult <laughs> to locate him. These two gentlemen have been my bosses before, then at some point they became my subordinates, and that, uh, now one of them has uh, become my boss again, that is Confiato, as the national vice chairman. So I want to thank the media also for traversing this journey with us. In fact, from the point of opening of nomination, You've been with us, you've tried to find ways of, uh, you know, helping the system, in some cases, uh, trying to contradict us. <laughs> and we thank you. <laughs> and we, we thank you for, for, for that effort. Because if you fear contradiction, you will do the right things and be consistent with your message. I want to thank you, and particularly today being the declaration day. I didn't expect that at this late hour, we will still have all of you uh, waiting. I've always maintained that our relationship is a, a mutually beneficial relationship. If you black us out, we cannot do our business. And the day we stop talking, you are also out of employment. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so we want to thank you very much. At this stage, let me end by congratulating everybody, including the MPP and our detractors for sparing us uh, the intrusions and the other things during this election. Thank you very much. My, uh, my only hope is that, you know, we know them and they know us. <laughs> Between tonight and the next three days, my hope is that nothing is orchestrated to divert attention from this very important victory. I thank you very much. And thank, you very much. Thank, you. thank you very much, Honorable Johnson, I say you kids here. We are very grateful. So without wasting much time, before I do the next item, I think it's important to emphasize the percentage. Um, some of you did not get it. Um, His Excellency President Mahama scored 95.24 percent of the race. 95.24 percent. This is resounding loud and overwhelming victory. 95.25 percent. This is historic in this country. So moving on to the next item, let's with a round of applause invite. Honorable Samuel Ofosu Ampofo, our national chairman and a great leader of the National Democratic Congress. Let's go, man. Are you sucking me? <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, let me say all protocol observed and to address the next president of the Republic of China. And to say that. Our slogans must change because today it is not a hedge of bottle because we're here to.
This morning, in my car, when we were coming and we decided to buy something, and the guy rolled the glass down and saw one of the tax, monitoring tax. He said, Oh, I beg you, you are buying my thing. I don't have vote, but please vote for John Dramani Muhammad. <laughs> so, the 95% plus is a reflection of the will and wishes of the entirety of the Ghanaian public who are calling for the return of the NDC and the return of John Dramani Muhammad. Why are they so useful? This country has come to a standstill. Several development projects that were started under his leadership have now been left to the vagary and the mercy of the weather. A lot of the e blocks, as I moved around during my campaign for chairmanship, I saw them in the bush. Coco Rose that had been constructed, and some of them had reached the point where they had to be tired, had been abandoned. Several other infrastructure projects, three years of MPP, and I could find came and had nothing to show the onions. So, the time has come for us to change our slogans and say, MPP, one term. Nana Kufuado, one term. John Mahama, Obabio. JM, Bababio. Wabakura, and Wesley Kwansu already, or Sanyaba. Therefore, we want to congratulate all our party members and Ghanaians who prayed for us. Because we have gone through a very tortuous process, yeah. as uh, Honorable Kufiato indicated. But you know, sometimes gold will have to go through the crucible for it to refine and show its shine and its how precious it is. So we believe that this exercise has brought the best out of the NDC. And we are unanimous in our decision. What it means is that we are one united family, poised to win victory in 2020. Yeah. I am happy to have read and to have also spoken to all the other SIS aspirants. This morning I spoke with them. After the election, we have spoken to them and they have all called to congratulate His Excellency oh, on his and pledge to work together in unity for us to win 2020. Therefore, as party members, it is incumbent for us to close our ranks, bury the differences, and unite our forces. It is only through unity that we can realize the objective of winning 2020 elections. I want to assure you that, Your Excellency, we are building a strong winning machinery. The party machinery is going to be very strong from the branch to the constituency, to the region, to the national level. And we want to assure you that we are going to work with you in the trenches to ensure that we win 2020. On this note, I want to join the General Secretary and all those who have spoken to congratulate all of us, the media, the security, the Electoral Commission and everybody who has played a role in bringing us where we are now. The journey to the Plaster House begins now. There is no turning back until 7th December, 7th January 2021, when the new President of the Republic of Ghana, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, will be sworn in. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much, our indefatigable national chairman. So before we move to the next item on the agenda, I have this announcement for you. Please, as much as possible, when we take the speech from His Excellency, the former president, who is now our flag bearer, um, would advise that immediately he ends, they will play the party anthem. And please, nobody should move. Perhaps maybe those at the, at the, the, the entrance would have to move quickly. Nobody should move till all the leaders are out of this room. 
kindly note this announcement. So without wasting my time, let's with a standing ovation, with a very loud noise, with a round of applause, invite His Excellency, the former president, His Excellency, President John Gamani Mahama. Let's with a round of applause to that. of today. It's been a long day. Time is fast spent. And yet, it is the interest in the affairs of our great party that has kept you going up to this point. Today is a day for thanking people, not for making very long speeches. And so I'll thank members of the National Executive whom I've just acknowledged and thank members of my campaign team who have worked tirelessly to make sure that this day comes to realization. And even though I can't mention all of them, I would give thanks to our chairman of chairmen and those who know him. It's uh, Uncle Atua Hoy, Dong King. I'll also thank the great leader, and for those who don't know him, I'm talking of Mr. Kwame Pipra. I thank one of the sharpest political strategists in this country. Supposed to be retired, but still very much alive and kicking. Honorable Kofi Totobi Kwache. And for those of you who are socialists, if I say I want to thank Suslov, you will understand who I mean. Our great jurist, who can generate a justification for anything that we do. He will sit through the night and by morning he will have a thesis on your table or a speech or whatever you have to give. And that's Professor Kwamina Ahoy. I want to thank my campaign manager, and um, even though he's the oldest and um, he's, he's noted for many other things, <laughs> including the area of oaths and swearing, he still managed at an advanced age to work with us who are much younger through 275 constituencies, every single one of them. He was right by my side. 
There were some times the going got tough, but he will be there. When I look to my left, he's sitting there. Ambassador Ohine Jekum, I want to thank you. Indeed, there are so many that I should thank, but Miss Valerie Sawyer has been working behind the scenes. Very hard behind the scenes, and she is a very much a part of the success we have achieved. There are many others I could mention, Nijama, and so many of them, and indeed all the members of the campaign team, members of Comet, I want to use this opportunity to thank you. But let me, on a sad note, note also that in all the pleasure and the celebration and the happiness that we are experiencing, we lost two of our comrades. And I want to express my sincerest condolences to their families and to the general NDC party. And these are Ambassador Lee Okran, who passed away um, a few hours ago, um, about 24 hours ago. And also Ms. Dr. Yao Krachin, who was formerly MD of ADB and also served as um, chairman of Cocoa Board before and was a very, very integral member of our party and a very strong member of our party. May their souls rest in perfect peace. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the results of the presidential primaries have been declared. And let me say that I have officially received phone calls of congratulations from all my six fellow aspirants. I want to thank everyone here tonight. We're celebrating the great climax of the reorganization of our party after the elections of 2016. The overwhelming endorsement of our party is a signal that our efforts over the last two years have not been in vain. The process has been rigorous and tiring, beginning with an analysis and fact-finding mission to explore the reasons for our election loss in 2016, which was carried out by the now famous Kwesi Botre Committee and resulting in the Kwesi Botre Committee report. From there, we started a re-registration of all our members at the branch level. And then we began the adult task of reorganization. And this came from the branch level, to the constituency level, to the regional level, and then to the national level when we held Congress in November last year at the Trade Fair Center. This presidential primary is a climax of that reorganization effort. We have had a rigorous process and we have had to have patience for it because in order to get it right, we needed to be patient and make sure that we cover every stone and make sure that we do not leave any portion uncovered. But I must say it's been a fulfilling journey and our patience has borne fruit. This result that we have heard announced by the Electoral Commission today is dedicated to all of us members of the NDC party. Yeah. It is from our ordinary supporters who were not delegates but had an interest in who eventually emerged and therefore used all the influence at their 
disposal to put pressure on the delegates to make sure that the right choice was made. It is dedicated to our branch executives, so many of them across the country, more than 270,000 of them at every polling station branch who have worked tirelessly to see us reach this stage. It is to all the constituency executives that I met in my rounds across the country who have also worked tirelessly. It is to the regional chairman and their executives, and then also to our national executives who just were appointed in November last year, but have immediately, immediately taken control of the party and steered it to such a successful conclusion. I wish to assure the executives at all these levels that I will work closely with you and tirelessly with all of you so that our common objective of returning our party back into power will be achieved. I salute all our executives. This victory is dedicated to you. And it is my hope that in the current environment, we will work together and eschew all attempts to divide us. Because in the business of politics, we know what happens. Let us be one. Let us trust each other. And let us not believe the kinds of stories that will be circulated, creating an impression that one is trying to undermine the other. And once we build this trust, I'm sure that we will be successful. I said when I came round all our constituencies that I noted a new fire and determination in all our executives to work hard towards returning the party to power in 2020. And I wish that this fire will keep on burning. I want to take this opportunity to thank my campaign team, too many to mention, who a few of those have mentioned already. I want to thank them for the hard work that you all put into this endeavor. Our party has spoken with one voice. And I must say, we are all the winners. I'm deeply touched by the overwhelming endorsement I have received from the grassroots of our party. It is a call to duty. It is a call to action. It is a call to battle. I want to thank my fellow aspirants for the good fight they put up in these presidential primaries. Indeed, they have helped to energize the base of our party. Their participation in this contest has exhibited that our party is the most democratic, peaceful, transparent, and dynamic party in Ghana's democracy today. I dedicate this victory to the grassroots of our party. And I want to take the opportunity to thank our party's election committee under the able leadership of my friend and comrade, Kofi Ato, and also the electoral commission that worked closely with our party's election committee for the role they, have, they played in achieving this successful presidential primaries. I want to take the opportunity to thank the Ghana Police Service. I believe that with the guarantee of our trust and confidence, the service can rise to the occasions as they have shown today and ensure security for our democratic processes into the future. Today has been a test, 
And I believe that most will agree that the Ghana Police Service performed creditably. <laughs> and it is our hope that we can collaborate with the service into the future to ensure that future elections are as successful as our presidential primaries were. I want to thank you members of the media. You've been with us on this journey. And even as late as tonight, you're all here in your numbers. Without you, we cannot get our message out to our members and to the general Ghanaian public. I want to thank you for being with us right from the start of the process, and not only the presidential primary, but from the aftermath of the 2016 elections, from the various versions of the Presbyterian Committee that you all reported, <laughs> which you managed to intercept different copies of it, many of them wrong, because the original copy still remains under the lock and key of the general secretary, not the one that ran away from the IGP's uh, 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 prison. And so whatever version you had and you published, it helped our democracy, and we thank you for that. But you've been with us since that time, through all the processes we've gone through till now, and I want to thank you. My brothers and sisters, our journey towards the victory in the 2020 elections begins today. Yes. It marks the beginning of a process where we wish to work together to bring truth and honesty back into our political discourse. I want to thank all Ghanaians who have extended well wishes to us, but who also have taken an interest in what is happening in the largest opposition party, knowing that the events that occur in the largest opposition party can impact their lives. And so I want to thank all Ghanaians who have taken an interest in what has been happening. In the next few days, I will have the opportunity to meet our functional executive committee and be inducted into office as the leader of the great NDC party. Over the next few days, I will have the opportunity to express my thanks further to all who have been helpful in getting us thus far and to thank all and to make a major statement outlining the way forward for our great party and Mother Ghana. I want to thank the Almighty God who has guided my steps and that of our dear party to this point. And I know in my heart that that God will continue to abide with us. Amen. Amen. that that God will continue to abide with us Amen. towards victory in the 2020 Amen. elections. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters of the media, tonight I want to serve notice to Ghana that from the outcome of this election, the NDC is strong. The NDC is united. The NDC is poised for victory in 2020. And that nothing, absolutely nothing, will stop our march towards the Flagstaff House. I thank you for your kind attention.